Okay, uh, Mr. Rajiv Ranjan Misra sir has joined. Sir, good evening. Thank good you for evening. joining. Sir is also today is busy due to some another assignment in IIT Rurki. But still, sir, thank you for joining with us. Yeah, thank you so much. I there is a conference going on in IIT Rurki, so I yes, yes, yes. Just took leave for a few minutes and joined it. So, so nice all of you. I I, I will introduce uh, Mr. Rajiv Ranjan Misra, sir. Mr. Rajiv Ranjan Misra, he is an IAS and also he was the former Director General of National Mission for Clean Ganga, Ministry of Jal Shakti, but. Uh, and successfully he has com um, uh, computed so much initiatives he has taken during his tenure. And we are really blessed that he is now associated with us as our advisory board member from almost from the very beginning of Sayyad Institute, along with that, uh, he is Hello? also the vice, vice president of... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Thank you. Fine. So, uh, Misra sir is also our honorable vice president of ICRA, that is the International Consortium of River Affairs. So, I think the board has already complete, and I would like, uh, with your permission, I would like to start that is today's session. So, actually, uh, before I start, uh, first of all, on behalf of South Asian Institute I, for Advanced Research and Development, Sayyad, I heartily welcome to all of you in our uh, international this inter indo indo ireland river dialogue that is the river as a means as business as well as the international cooperation and i firstly uh, humbly thanks to our honorable guest from ireland particularly my friend mr alan marcel mr siraj jaidi sir jasveer singh ji for joining with us and they are all uh, recognized dignified personalities and um, though they reside in india uh, ireland but still the deal is also in india <laughs> the heart is also touching uh, being for india so we and also the i would like to mention some another points that regarding the concept of this international consortium of river affairs or river ICRA, as i mentioned with and, and as i discussed with the just been seeing sir sire is a platform which is mostly working with the five main aspects that is the academia research capacity building and training policy advocacy along with the livelihood support so within we feel that these five factors are closely associated with each other and with these factors we are working we are doing our activities we are channelized our activities in that manner and we have developed a center uh, that is the Center for River Affairs. From the very beginning of our side, we are associated with the um, various activities, with the river-related activities, along with the mi National Mission for Clean Ganga. Whenever Sir was uh, the IS and the Director General there, we have signed MO with them. And not only that, we have also connected throughout the world and different national, international organizations for association for collaboration. So recently we have the we have recent last year we have organized first time that is the International River Congress on behalf of our platform. And with this River Congress, it was a huge success. And there are several countries as associates, a number of people have joined. And this year we have taken a gap because we are looking forward to organize the same River Congress in coming year in from the interna in international countries, as that we can connect the other countries people with our mission, with our vision, that is the reverse for all. And we should think river differently. And uh, Mr. Mishra, sir, during his tenure as a director general, he has, as I said, that he has taken lots of initiatives reg regarding the river as a uh, rejuvenation, how uh, river can be uh, think, we can think river in a different way. So in that sense, we are very lucky that this person is associated with us and his blessings with us as well. And along with that, with this mission, whenever the initiative has started by the government of India through this uh, NMCG, and we are uh, is really encouraged by them and we have developed these wings. And along with that, we thought that now we have to connect the world because river is not just a channelized flow of water. River is an entity which is actually a blood and connect the whole body. If the earth we consider is the whole body, then the river is just the, its blood who connects the earth. So with this vision, we have started this initiative. And now we are looking forward, as I said, to connect the world to, from Ireland. And I uh, honor in case of Mr. Alan that he gladly accept our proposal to be a part of this ICRA 
from our Ireland uh, section. And uh, we have started our first international discussions, first international dialogues regarding how and why we should have to think about river, because why it is, why we are looking forward to river, why we have to think in a different way, because most of the cases, our bookish language has to be changed. Now the time has come, we have to think our lifeline, actually, you know, lifeline. Along with that, my last, I will lastly into a, uh, pointed out one ancient point that as river is not just a means of life, source of water, but it's a source of livelihood as well. And in that sense, river is part of culture. River is a part of agriculture. River is a source of water. River is also a source of biodiversity. River is a part of civilization. So if we consider the term civilization, we we must have to think that is civilization means a holistic part. And in this holistic manner, each and everything is related. A human health to human uh, being to human health, each and everything is related. So in that sense, we have to think, we have to start this dialogue, how river can be the means of our international cooperation. River can be the part of peace. River can be the part of our cultural exchange. River and as well as river can be the part of livelihood support. And with this respect, we have started another initiative to generate the river entrepreneurs because there are lots of opportunities alongside the river so obviously river is just not a physical entity it can be a part of social and economic entity as well so with this vision we have started this dialogue today and i heartily welcome to all our delegates those who have coming from the ireland along with the participants on behalf of sayat thanks to you and i will request to uh, our honorable miss rasar our uh, the vice president of ikra to start uh, his dialogue with uh, and also uh, interact with our international delegates thank you sir over to you please thank you okay. uh, thank you dr rachadri and uh, i greetings to all the dignitaries uh, whom i see thank you so much for joining this initiative first of all because um, actually Mr. Sujit has already given a good background of what his institution is doing and how it all started. Uh, and I would be also very keen to hear your views. But very briefly, I think I was so happy when the, the Dr. Bishwajit was explaining what river is because I have been telling this thing for four or five years. So, so it's very nice to see others also telling exactly the same thing that river is many things because uh, when um, I, I will not take much time, but I will tell you when I became in charge of this uh, mission, and I think uh, Ganga, everyone is familiar, and uh, yeah, and uh, Mr. Allen, you also have a lot of a special this thing because you work so closely in Nepal. So uh, 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 the, that experience, it's basically the same ecosystem we are talking about. So few few very unique thing happened in this mission because. First of all, we do not understand rivers. So I think in this mission, the priority was to understand rivers more, more clearly. Because it's like the old story of seven men, blind men and elephant. Because people will give you solutions also similarly. People will also say, someone will say the culture, someone will say river is dirty, someone will say you have to increase flow, someone will talk about biodiversity. Not many people talk, unfortunately, but yes, some people will talk like that. Someone will look at economy, someone will look at uh, uh, something else, someone will look at religion. So I think we all, and if you ask anyone to rejuvenate Ganga or rejuvenate any river, because what we did in Ganga or what you people would have seen in the rivers in Ireland, it's question of degree. Maybe the rivers are clean in Europe now, but if you go back 50 years back, Perhaps the condition was something similar. So I think uh, we, we have uh, I had a lot of chance to interact with um, especially the rivers in Germany and rivers in UK. I had a chance to visit some of these places and see, interact with Rhine Commission. In fact, I will be participating in International River Symposium starting from 27th uh, in Vienna. So I think talking more about Danube and other rivers. I think one thing is very clear. Community has a special place for river. And sometimes in the earlier time, that, that was more simple and that interaction was more simple. We, we developed. But slowly as we develop, as we grow, as we improve our economic condition and technology, especially the big cities, we started 
we, we start forgetting the river and sometimes the city becomes so big river gets lost in the river, in, in the city if you come to delhi and ask many people in delhi those even if they are living for 10 years in delhi many of them will not tell you the way to reach river yamuna the bank on which delhi developed so this is the kind of malice ganga is in a way lucky because the strength the the, the connect is so strong that it was not very easy but it was still possible to start rejuvenation of ganga because that connect is still is very strong and unfortunately or unfortunately we don't have a city of size of delhi on the bank of ganga because such huge city can spoil any natural system unless we are very careful unless we are very much um, um, prioritized in our mind so so ultimately what we did is one aspect is cleaning because that's something as an administrator suppose you are heading everyone will talk about cleaning only everyone will ask when will the ganga be clean you have been doing it for 20 years 30 years when kab hoga when when it will get clean so that's one thing very few people understand cleaning is important first of all ganga is not dirty or any river is not dirty it's the people it's the civilization it's the towns it's the villages along the river they are dirty they have to clean themselves then river will automatically be clean so i think this this perspective came up then I also started looking at reconnect people from the cultural identity of the river. So we started heritage mapping. We started improving flow in the river. So the concept of environmental flow came. We also started mapping the biodiversity in the river. And then we emerged the project dolphin. Gangetic dolphin is a beautiful aquatic species. But in India also, I will tell you, many people do not even know that there is a river dolphin. I think dolphins are all marine dolphins. People think the river dolphins are very much there. They are very much part of Nepal as well. The same species is there in Nepal, Bangladesh, and, um, and India. So, and, and many other places also. So I think this whole thing, holistic understanding developed. And in this process, I am very happy to be talking with Ireland also because several countries came to share their experience. And several countries are also very keen to basically, I am now getting invited to a, a India International River Symposium to basically share about uh, the, the turnaround or what work happened. So I think there is huge potential to share knowledge from each other. And even if we do not do anything very material in terms of money or in terms of grant and all that, I think I, I know for Indian anywhere in the world, I think uh, you think of this country. Even, even if someone is not Indian, natural Indian, but actually there is a lot of goodwill about it. We started one connect program on the online quiz. We called it Ganga Quest. And we, we made it, first it was only in India, then we made it international last year. And I think more than 70, 80 countries, the, the people who are living there, they participated. Even if there is five people participating, two people participating. Overall, we had more than a million participants in that quiz. So I think uh, something very interesting may be happening in different countries. Once we also organized uh, in UK with the help of uh, the Indian community as well as uh, our high commission in UK, we organized, I think just, just before I left the mission, a almost 15 days Ganga Connect program. So it went to universities. I think I'm just telling you to, because some of these ideas can come up. So I think it went to universities. It went to Oxford. It went to Birmingham. It went to different places, Glasgow. And then the, the, the Indian community and not even Indian community, the university professors, academia, they were so much in, including business. So now we have got some Ganga chapter in Glasgow. Glasgow College, Glasgow College has a Ganga chapter. And then I think 15, 20 days back, we had a similar kind of discussion with them that what to do and all that. So <clears throat> nothing else, what is happening in India, you will be coming to know because often we feel that nothing is happening. Often we do not get the real picture. And for Indians, it will be very, very heartening. I think if um, uh, Sayyad is taking this interest and creating this forum, this being the first meeting, perhaps we have to hear from each other, get the thoughts. And then one thing is generally meeting and then sharing our thoughts and goodwill. That is also good. But I think beyond that also, maybe some suggestions, some ideas can come. One thing like suppose NMCG organizes Ganga Quest and these things. If these forums are active, we can also activate you. We can share a lot of material which is available here. And now after my retired from this uh, mission, I am now in the, a, a place called National Institute of Urban Affairs as well as associated with Viswajit. And I am presently in Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, as professor of management here. So 
that another conference is going on. But I think that there are there are several places from where we can get it. But we should know the interest in the forum. What exactly you people are uh, uh, looking forward? What what we can do together? It's not what one gives to another, but rather what we can do together. So I think uh, some of these ideas, and as you will all understand, these are all nascent organizations. These are all good ideas. We are initiating good ideas, meeting good people like you. But I think we'll have to, as we go along after one or two meetings, we will perhaps try to make it more concrete and then come up with some, some sort of initiative. If, if some Indian community sitting there want to do something here or something which how the rivers are maintained in Ireland. Is there a role of community? How they do it? I'd like, I have read at many places, there is a kind of trust which, all, which also maintains some of these things. Not a government body, but a kind of trust. Something similar is we try to do here also. We try to create a kind of, but still it is not as private or as independent. It is still driven by government here, district Ganga committee we made. And that is a kind of model which developed. But we can always learn and then contribute. So I am I, I am all for it. I want to speak. Otherwise, this is a subject so close to my heart. I can keep on speaking and boring you. So I will stop at this stage. And then I will be very keen to listen to, to all of you that uh, uh, what we have uh, in our agenda. Thank you so much. And once again, very warm welcome from our side. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So. It's really a wonderful speech you have initiated, and thanks. And uh, I will request to uh, Alan first, because Alan, we have connected through uh, in a virtual platform. And after that, we become a very close proximity in case of, because he is also working in a very good uh, uh, person, in working in the art, culture. And also, uh, he's a very keen interest, keeping in keen interest in river and culture as well. So I would like to hear first from you regarding our today's vision, our today's agenda on the river as a means of business and international co cooperation. Alan, over to you, please. Yeah, that's better. Danyavad, uh, Bizwat ji. Thank you, sir. Masuda um, ji, uh, thank you so much as well. You know, uh, you're, you're, you're two, you know, uh, passionate, uh, yeah, focused, um, introduction talks really, you know, uh, some up the huge exciting potential that uh, the initiative has. So uh, <clears throat> I'll go into different levels. I sort of they all interconnect, um, and of course, uh, with uh, Bizwatji, uh, we of course connected ultimately through a liking um, a little post on on uh, LinkedIn after a recent meeting with His Excellency um, Ambassador of, of India to the Republic of Ireland, uh, uh, Mr. Akilesh uh, Mishra, um, where green topics came up green topics came up and um this is certainly a most good focused what area uh, for those as well so um maybe what we have here is uh, it, it 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 fits in um spiritually but practically as well with with the backgrounds that we have and uh um it, it's lovely to see my good friend and uh, uh dr jasbia singh puri here today and uh, who i haven't yet met um uh mr zaidi as well um so a little bit about myself i literally live over a historic what they call culverted covered in um river in central dublin it's called the the poddle um the poddle you know it used to be a real river um running into the the, the world famous liffey um and uh, now there's very little of it above ground <clears throat> it's all underground and uh, so the delhi you know comparison is is very uh, very apt um um what um what i've always cared about being brought up in the countryside um uh, always a deep connection as an artist also a writer and published writer on culture with nepal um but I've, I've always been a very connected with with nature um the woods the, and of course, the, the streams, the river, mountains, uh, and that's very much a part of my life. So when I heard about the uh, this brilliant initiative, I thought, yes, I'd love to be involved, and uh, and it's a great privilege to be able to do so. So I mean, there's there are so many, as you, as you pointed out, you know, uh, you know, Vasudaji, uh, uh, Biswatji. Um, there's so many interconnected facets to the river culture as a living entity in 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 human beings' lives, in the lives of animals in the life of um the global you know um you know, climate and in natural environment as well so we go from the mountain tops to the estuarine 
you know, to the to the sea, uh, different aspects of this. Um, what what I'm, I'm thinking is there are definitely um, practical um, jobs supporting, developing uh, opportunities if we have this right. And and in our initial conversation, uh, you know, uh, Professor Bizvatji, we know that uh, we were discussing how important it is to evolve policies and strategies for implementing policies. Yes. Um, and I, I think what we can contribute here in Ireland would be to look at how we can connect with uh, the Liffey and obviously the Shannon, the, the very mm. big uh, river, very est more estuarine in the west of Ireland, um, 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 with the Ganga, you know, um, uh, in, in its entirety. And that includes, uh, you know, Nepal, <coughs> where, where, where quite a lot of the, uh, the tributaries uh, rise, including the sacred Bagmati Nadi, um, which I'm very familiar with, but of Pashupatinath, you know, in, in Kathmandu, one of yes, the, the yes. most important sacred sites. Yes, um, yes. Very familiar with that. A good friend of mine um, is a gentleman called B.K. Shrestha. He's been working for years on a clear, clean the Bagmati campaign, you know, because in places it, it's been, it's been, uh, you know, just as you say, you know, polluted. It's not the river's fault. It's, uh, it's people not having the infrastructure to get rid of uh, waste uh, and rubbish properly. Um, but uh, so I've got a real interest in this from an Asian point of view, South Asian point of view, but also in a personal one. Um, and I think we can do some do some amazing things here. I'm thinking we 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 look at the river, but we look at the the river basin, you know, from from the the the, the source to to the end. <clears throat> we look at um, we look at therefore I would say um, culture and cultural tourism. With the rivers a special focus, but we uh, have rivers, you know, in every part of the world, and they're often at the centre of civilizations and and and, and nations. The, the ancient Vedic culture, um, you know, uh, basically centred around uh, the the Ganga um, and its tributaries. Of course, um, we we have um, we we want to see what I'm I'm, I'm passionate about is, is transcultural and intracultural dynamics. Mm -hmm. which is to say that one person one side of the uh, of the planet earth will have something in common with a person the other side uh, and what it bring those out together because then this is you know i think why we're here we're all to learn from each other um and uh, that's the exciting dynamic well, so as you probably guess i'm an educationist as well um we so we could we could um have initiatives around um tourism you know starting with sacred springs the sacred springs the sacred streams the stories around this now in different religions and spiritual traditions they are known but um they might not be known in other parts of the world uh, <clears throat> we certainly have uh, in ireland uh, a tradition of sacred springs and, uh, and and special relationships of a very sort of uh, mystical kind as well which i think uh, uh, you know uh, connects very well uh, with our with our asian and south asian uh, perspectives as well so we could be looking at this we could be looking at tourism across the river, the river crossings, pilgrimage routes between sacred sites within the, the valley and on the rivers. Um, that would be an interesting theme to consider. I'm, I'm thinking particularly though, and I've got the National Edu India, um, Bharat, the national education policy in mind, which have contributed to, which is probably somewhere on the edges, you know, the scene. Um, uh, and, um, I, I, I'm thinking we should be looking for river, a river dimension, agricultural research and design. So we we would look at what um, colleges, faculties of universities, HEIs, um, in in India, are uh, have you know uh, covering this area. We would look at the same for Ireland and probably elsewhere as well. Um, and we would want to see if we can get. Uh, you know, joint uh, research done. Um, uh, you know, academics covering the areas in both countries may be working on some projects together to share share their, their thoughts. I'm thinking that, and that's um, and as with the NEP, it's um, it's got a I'd say a wonderful um, decolonizing you know post European colonial era um, uh, you know dynamic to which I risk, I love. Uh, and it, that resonates a lot here in Ireland, obviously, with the history of our two countries. So I'm thinking um, the, the real opportunities around research and design in the right areas. I'm talking about the geology, 
um, you know, essaying of, of, of the water types um, and uh, the soils, the soils. I'm, I'm very aware of the valleys, you know, riversides that they, they will be supportive of um, maybe certain types of herb, certain types of, um, mm -hmm. of plant. I mean, for instance, I, I was born in the UK, um, uh, but I've got some Irish blood in me uh, as well. And well, I was born in the countryside over there in Kent, southeast um, England. And recently, um, very near the family home, there's a there's by a little river or stream even. Um, there's a there's a you know the hillsides there now are growing uh, vines, so they're becoming vineyards because of the soil type. So you know we we can go into this detail on on um, a holistic total you know um, uh, overview of uh, a river basin as well. We could look at that. So we we I think we could do something on agricultural research and design, um, and look at the particular areas where that could be fitting it to institutes faculties in India and what we might have here. That's my my suggestion. I think as well on the tourism side. Um, there's there's several strands, you know, and I, I'm I'm someone who's worked for a long time in this field for arts and cultural tourism. Um, I've advised, you know, and they, they happily took up uh, most of my suggestions, not, not to the fullest extent, but the Nepal National, the Na Nepal Tourism Board (NTB) a few years ago, people, you know, were you know key figures in there, uh, sought my guidance uh, on it, and they they um, then brought in an arts and culture dimension, which was very poor before it's there. We, we could do a lot more with this. So we could be looking at um, involving the Indian Tourism Board. Uh, we should be looking at involving um, Fairty, if I'm pronouncing it right, Gaelic, <coughs> Fairty, Welcome Ireland as well, over here, you know, uh, connecting them up, you know, sharing, sharing perspectives, sharing experiences is what this is all about. Um, and looking at the different types of, of what we could do there for spiritual, um, well-being, and green, and arts um, tourism um, uh, there, um, and uh, I think that's that's a, a really important dimension that we can we can bring together. Um, I think we have to look at the practical things as well of the other type, which are what does a river produce? Is it fish, uh, you know, uh, you know. Bull rush, read whatever you know, uh, different thing. Um, and uh, obviously, the 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 soil, the environment of the river. What is it you know particularly you know famous for? So um, we know that on the upper reaches of rivers, in the Himalaya, we we have particularly we famous for the um, uh, chia, as they say in, in Nepal, the tea, the tea, the tea plantations, the tea gardens as well. Um, and an interesting one from here is that the Liffey and Really, uh, the the subterranean river now, uh, culverted river that I, I I live above, literally, um, in the Coom. I live in the place called the Coom, uh, called the Poddle. Um, they are they um, there are products that uh, in India, in I don't know Alaska, Bolivia, anywhere, will actually know of, which are to do with the particular water quality of those rivers, yeah? which are um, the beverages. The Guinness, the Guinness, the, the real Guinness, which is a, a you know, a, 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 it's, it's a, they call it stout or ale, a stout, um, has to have the river water in it um, of the Liffey to be taste what it should be. And the same we have um, with these um, uh, subterranean rivers here, the distilleries, whis whiskey distilleries of, um, of uh, Dublin, not many left, but still some famous ones here. They are, are affected by the water. Um, the quality of the water. It, it, water is like um, um, it's like a it's like wines really, in its own right. Um, the, it, water is just not the same everywhere. Different to some PT, some uh, you know some some smooth. Um, uh, and one of the things that when I re relocated uh, happily last year to uh, Dublin uh, from the UK was I was I was having from the tap here, the pani, the water, and mm -hmm. thought. Oh, something wrong with it. And it was like a, a little bit of small, little bit like bubbles with it. And it's because it's the, the aquifying effect. It's the strata that it's come through that it gives that, which is why you we have on uh, whether it's the, um, the 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 world famous Guinness or some of the, the Irish whiskey, why we have, you know, their distinct tastes. It, it is to do with the water. So what I'm saying is here, 
we have specifically areas where we could look at um, in terms of sharing experiences um, uh, you know uh, on on uh, on on drink the drink front and that can include you know just uh, high end you know uh, water himalayan spring waters etc we can have as well um, and also then the food ingredients as, as well what uh, happens with the river uh, what is grown there we mentioned uh, tea the tea plantations we're interested in the herbs and so on and then you get the connectedness off of those products which is you know real real sales real exports real imports um, you get then a greater understanding of the cultures around preparing food what is in a drink you know um, I, I know I'm completely aware of that dynamic it brings things alive as well you know for people in in, in terms of tourism and even business tourism it brings things into focus so just 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 a few of my thoughts um at, at the moment um so river and river basin related tourism um developing a green agenda sir please on your microphone your microphone is muted. yes it's gone yes i was saying we have um i conclude now so i was just saying um we have a few areas here um, we have, have cultural, spiritual well-being, tourism, uh, um, and uh, that dimension. We have uh, agricultural research and design, um, where we get into the technical sciences sort of side of things a, a little bit um, uh, more there, uh, soil types, etc. We have the ecological and green agendas as well. Uh, why can't we share, you know, with, with, with what's happening in the Sundarban area? of uh, the, the ganga of course um with with this awful map i showed you uh, the other week i think uh, uh Ji, about the um the dangers to the um the uh, the liffey to dublin a third of dublin will be underwater by the end of this century for example um why can't we share what are we doing about it and why it matters from, from both sides for example we can do that and again finally um we can look as well at um you know the the actual um products of of river and river basin as well um with the histories behind them as well which could be for you know international and broader national export so it's a very very exciting concept there are some practical uh thoughts from our side um what we could be doing together as ireland with india and obviously you know our good friends in nepal as well yes thank you Thank you, Alan. Thank you. You have uh, almost highlighted the 360 degree yes. viewpoints about the river utilization, river water, culture, and along tourism, economy, ecological aspect, green agenda. So many points you have mentioned. And really, thanks to you for highlighting these issues. And also, what in our first interaction, hope you remember that I have shared some points that there should be some not only to know each other, but also how to benefit how can be beneficial for each other our institutional collaboration yeah. in that sense and um, uh, that's why i'm saying let's uh, finalize the third international river congress in your country <laughs> so we will <laughs> go for association so i will request uh, rajiv sir if you would like to uh, say some points on alan's uh, top discussion so I, I think that there are several points but i think let's uh, I think uh, uh, very quickly before taking much time, I think um, uh, Mr. Allen has really summarized and, and you have also yeah. uh, brought a lot of specific issues. So I think, uh, the, see, we cannot do all kinds of research also because our capacity mm. etc. also will be limited. So we have to mm. prioritize. I feel this agricultural side is very important because in India also, the the government is now i think when in 2019 itself we had started that all along ganga all along this river and now it's going to other river also there should be some sort of natural farming and organic farming so that i think there's a lot lot can be done there could also be some research opportunity about the diffused pollution from agriculture which takes place in the water body so i think mm -hmm. this, this, some of these could be more we can we can sit down and break down into more specific projects and all that and ideas identify people institutions in uh, or the experts in ireland and the experts here uh, so that yes. they can we can get a platform where they can start the dialogue 
similarly i think what you told about uh, the special quality of water i think that's very important point and that's see there are certain things you will find in uh, a particular place water and there are certain eatable things certain certain food things which actually it something which tastes what it tastes in kolkata it does not taste same thing in delhi even if the same people yes. come and make it here so i think uh, this could also be a very interesting compilation i mean we need not think too big and make a huge book but if we come across some of these things if uh, by way of this thing if we start uh, preparing some short papers about these things and start sharing with the world i think a lot of awareness can come so i think that's one thing ecology and green uh, agenda what you said and sundarban and other things that's very important we can pick up maybe few wetlands because that's very important ecologically and uh, the, the, the wetlands are also under a lot of uh, encroachment and danger so i think uh, different places some of the best practices on wetland this that we can do one could be the floodplain wetland closer to the river and one could, one attention could be also on the urban wetland because there the challenges are much more severe in the urban areas in the wetland so i think we, we can look at some of those things tourism art culture again i think this is a very interesting idea if you prepare something i think people will love to share and i also take your uh, this uh, of uh, goodwill in nepal and then i think when we do something automatically this kind of things will also cover some parts so suppose you are already having some good idea about some on these things something in nepal we can what we can do we can start preparing some papers and start sharing i think that could be a kind of joint work of us i think sure, without sure. involving much resources immediately if we can put a team of experts from both sides then we can perhaps start doing that that could be one thing we could uh, going um, based upon your ideas only we can think of writing some river stories some stories some songs because there is a lot of cultural identity of the local area as you said about himalayas i i was there in the release of a book in uttarakhand uh, ganga part the book is called a river sings so that's a compilation of the the hill folk their songs and you will be astonished some of those songs talk so vividly about climate change they may not use these words which ipcc use but mm. i think inherently they understand the impact of forest and water the, the understanding of the traditional community is quite good you must have seen it in nepal as well so i think some of these things could uh, could come up uh, and uh, we, we can start uh, with some some small way we can start and i think i'm quite sure more people will join and then we can pick up some specific agricultural research project etc and then work out the nitty gritty how it can happen but i think first thing is a kind of joint study and writing about them will immediately create some this thing we can also maybe we can organize some river talk kind of thing maybe pick up one river and as you also say we can look at the alpine part of the river and have a counterpart in india and maybe have a kind of talk about 10 15 minute about a river in ireland and 10 minute about something similar in india and what is happening and as i think every river has different alpine part and then street part so i think uh, uh, we, we can look like that because ganga is a huge river 2500 plus kilometers so i think uh, you will get case and you will get similarity in in parts i think it will be difficult to match the entire length of river with another entire length of the river but we can we can perhaps make our job a little easier and then do something like that great sir great uh, also uh, very important highlight you have some important points yes definitely alan we may start some uh, this is the preliminary discussion we have started and in future we are going for some more collaborations and as sir has also mentioned we may prepare a se in our second meeting we may prepare some theme on yes. the basis of we may prepare some team and we should start some uh, work on white paper designing and mm -hmm. and it may be the publication sector as uh, i have already shared uh, our coming books that is the river culture and global geopolitics you can share your inputs there you can also connect people from the uh, those who are working in the different sectors though are related with the rivers from ireland as well and there will be the writers from the different countries will join as a part from their sectors so i will also we can also start this kind of initiative say one by one and hopefully one day it will be our own ocean definitely and so uh, now i request to jaspreet singh puri ji jaspreet ji once again i thanks to you for joining with us first time with our sat platform and uh, hope you have already i understand the what the basic
concept what are the basic flow of uh, conversations we are looking forward and we are love to hear from you from your viewpoints because uh, before joining you are also sharing some important points i would like to uh, share the, those points in front of the board thank you sir over to you thank you very much uh, the credit goes to alan who approached us you know since i am the on the chair of the federation of indian communities in ireland and shiraj ji is advisor to it and uh, the vice chair person they are also and <clears throat> i'm thankful to all of you and i have listened to alan's views and all that this was we are talking here for that river can be used as a means of a transport they mm -hmm. were already using it as a means of a transport if you look up from the forest you know a lot of the things the wood was done through the river from the mountains that were thrown and taken at the base you know it was done already and it is doing and uh, that river wood is better than the what which is transported by the and they save the transport cost and atmospheric pollution also but since there is a biodiversity in the uh, rivers wherever we say there are 4.2 million species they live in the water whether in the sea or the river water or underground water they live and the river river is a flowing water and the flowing water is most of the time it is clean unless and until it is self cleaning unless and until we add waste to it problem here is we are adding lot of waste into the all sit from all cities even the neighbor by extended cities villages this is all now sewage system and we are putting into that one my suggestion here will be first of all decrease loads on the rivers so that there is no pollution into the rivers and rivers will be clean before the uh, it comes like near the banks before the banks about a kilometer before they should make reservoirs of waste where the water is filtered and reput into the river so that river gets a clean water rather than away from the toxics and some of the waste products and there they can be used whether they produce electricity by burning it or they make compost of that one and sell it to the of our organic farming okay it should be done at every level villages there we are trying to put even sewage system in the villages villages should have a septic tanks there or their area should be having their own sewage disposal area and they should have be, every village should have their own so the loads on the river will decrease and the river will automatically get cleaned they will get cleaned and it will be much easier to clean and let every village like we have got panchayats already let every four five districts they combine together and make their own systems and do it the government should help them fund them up give them the know how how to do it and you use the local river we have got manrezia already there they can use through that one you know a lot of labor can be utilized there the local labor itself and they should make some water reservoirs for you know from the river even 15 kilometers away there are small villages they should have their own water reservoirs you know 20 30 villages can be fed from one reservoir with a clean water so that basic necessity of the people is fulfilled rather than on the municipal corporations making big reservoirs and bringing making this one it should be done at at the every small levels you know so that the load is decreased on to the rivers those which are those cities which are near the coastal region their disposal waste disposal and sewage disposable should be at least 30 kilometers inside the sea rather than just near the sea which comes back like australia does about 35 kilometers inside the sea ireland does about 10 or 12 kilometers inside the sea you know uh, all all the coastal city so we will decrease definitely waste load onto them we should have small reservoirs of water all along the coast of the river there should be like for ganga itself i know the center is doing it 
but it should be the part and duty of each and every state there. There are four states is passing through, you know. And then, like there is one thing initially, Mr. Rajan said that we have to clean ourselves. In our Gurmani, we say, Man to yes. Jyot Rupa Apna Mool Pachan. You are the source of the God. You are the source yes. of everything, your soul. You should recognize yourself, cleanse yourself inside and outside both. It's not by simply by dipping in the river. No. Mm. You have to clean your mind. You have to clean your thoughts. So that, see as a good citizen, what country is doing for me, what I am doing for the country as a citizen, as my duty. We have to have our duty that we have to keep our cities and our rivers clean. It will be done automatically if we do, you know, everybody does it. And we have to definitely being green. This is, we have to have a spiritual ecology in our town. What Guru Nanak gave us, that there is, should be a spiritual ecology with you. It's not only that cleaning your nature is there. They have created the nature. Creator has created the nature and man is with the nature. And creation is with the creator and creation is with the creator. That's what the concept we should do. That we all are creators. We have to look after the atmospheric, the natural laws. Balihari Kudrat Vasya. The God lives in the nature. In you, me and in every plant it lives. Everywhere it lives. So we have to protect that one. That will be the my message that we have to look up. We have to start from within ourselves. Yes. Within the different villages. We know the rivers is a civilization. And we have to use the energy of the rivers. You know, there are, when it comes from the mountain, it comes with a great force. You know, everybody knows potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy, it, it goes with that kinetic energy up to the sea. Where they are ending, we should be producing electricity. From there, we have made big hydroelectric dam, but small things can be done. We can make a certain curvature, and for a village, we can generate it there where it is passing. Small turbines can be put on with that, that one. And I think scientists, uh, other engineers, they can make such sort of a turbines where the electricity can be rather than bringing from a big megawatt plants and from then distributing through the grid. It can be small grids can be made all along the riverside. Production of the electricity can be done all along the way with smaller plants. Very Tare uh, Jamipar, that uh, Shah Rukh Khan movie was shown it, and they, they, they did show it. They tried to show that one. We have to impart such things in our daily uh, programs. Because India is a vast country with fully populated, you know, much populated. So we have to have different small scale projects, you know, like we have got all that handloom industry, this industry, all that industries are there. We have got the know-how, but only thing is we have to implement it in such a way that rivers get automatically clean rather than a big project, unless until we stop putting dirt into our villages, into our rivers, we cannot clean the rivers simply. It has to be from within ourselves. Means of transport, means of tourism. You can do a pilgrimage. Alan was mentioning about the river pilgrimage. It can be very well done on Ganga. That you start from this town and you can reach up to Banaras or even up to Calcutta through the same route rather than going through the train. You catch it at Delhi or there or there. You can go and the routes can be made, you know, in different, you can make in the south, you can make in the north, west, everywhere. We have given importance to rivers as a religious, you know. But I think our ancestors and forefathers did that idea so that people will use it as a sacred means, so that they will not make it polluted. Yes. But we have forgotten everything which was told to by the ancestors, the all those people, and we, we have gone astray. A man is supposed to be the custodian of the earth, the nature. But we became the masters, yes. which we are not. And that's why we are facing all that. Climate problem, river problem, taste problem. Our minds have gone berserk, you know. 
we we have got so much of crime nowadays we do not look towards others as human beings we look everywhere we say it is me or mine when we'll start saying you and we look after you and like gunana gave us the three principle honest earning <laughs> remember the god what he has given you and you must share your earnings everything you must share your knowledge your earnings your service you share with the people so that world will be a good place to live in that's what it's the river but river is our source our civilization we have put all along the rivers all cities were made along the river our ancestors chose it that this is a good means of transport communication yes but we 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 have gone astray i think i won't say more i will like to listen to the others thank you very much thank God you bless everybody thank you thank you jasbir ji uh, you have mentioned a very good points that we worship uh, those river which we pollute actually so that is and that is the main problem of our mentality and that is the main problem of our awareness and you will be happy to know that on behalf after forming the center for river affairs we have designed a course that is the river science and policy and hopefully this is the first time in institution have provide uh, have started that kind of courses that is river science and policy and along with that we have started an awareness campaign that is the save river awareness campaign which uh, award we have provided during the international river congress first international river congress and we have got a lots of a uh, tremendous uh, uh, response from the different institutions the students have joined in river awareness cleaning and um, uh, the, they will also got the opportunities to be awarded by that platform and now we are looking forward that is in part of this river awareness initiative that is the thing theme line rivers for all so hopefully whenever we are uh, associated with you and you people and it's really i'm heart touching well, my feelings is when in future we can also start this initiative in your country and other countries too and whenever you people will join that kind of mentality people whenever you will join as a, uh, we will work together as rajiv sir was also mentioned with this initiative can also generate some inputs to the coming generations that how we have to change our mental vision our mentality our vision towards river how we should behave with her actually so thank you sir thank you very well points you have mentioned uh, i don't know whether you can hear me yes. or not my my camera is gone but can you hear me what my yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. we can yes. hear you please yes sir all right so if somebody I'm... else calling the camera <laughs> no but uh, some my camera is saying a, a cross sign and i can't click it back somehow okay sir no issue no issue but uh, it's our pleasure that you have joined here so, uh, now oh. we request you sir uh, siraj jai sure. sir to share your sure. viewpoint thank you so much indeed first of all thank you very much for inviting me on a very unusual uh, river project which i am not really uh, belonging <laughs> to in, t in terms of my work profession and things like that um i'm an actor by profession and a director of the indian film festival of ireland so my world is cinema but while listening to you dr chaudhry and listening to uh mr uh, mishra uh, uh vasudha mishra um and also um to many to to other people i realized that thinking loud and creatively uh, ganga has been obviously mentioned in cinema for many time many years yes. raj yes. kapoor has made ram teri ganga meli you know years ago uh that is a metaphor for uh, alan if i can translate that for you uh, uh it says the god ram your your ganges your ganga is dirty that was a title of a movie made by a very famous filmmaker called raj kapoor now recently my experience of dealing with the, another beautiful film and that is more pertinent to our discussion is called jay ganga now jay ganga has been made by a friend of mine called vijay singh who's based in paris and uh, i distributed that film here in dublin and i released that film in the film festival it's a beautiful film a journey through and it fits the tour tourism model i would say if you can access to that film it's on youtube 
uh, Jay Ganga. Now, Jay Ganga is a story of a, um, a guy from Paris, from France, goes to India and discovers himself through the route of Ganges uh, to the Ganga all the way down to Banaras. And in Banaras, he finds his lo love of life and he meets this girl. Uh, although that love becomes the doom love affair for some reason, it's a very dark film in many ways, reflecting the people and reflecting the, uh, you know, the people who would spiritually exploring themselves. And he uses the metaphor of Ganga being in a spiritual journey for himself to the main character, main protagonist who travels through Ganga. So I think with tourism, yes, there is a lot of potential when it comes to exploring India through Ganges, through Ganga, and of course, Yamuna in Delhi as well. The way Yamuna has been sort of been uh, used uh, for new communities who developed themselves, uh, what they call it a Jamuna Bar people, who doesn't <laughs> know the people who live on the different side of city, which is a sort of like a posh areas of uh, an expensive areas of Dublin, uh, sorry, of Delhi. So um, little I know Delhi, uh, you would see the rivers have always been used uh, for dividing people. And that connects my next point, that here in, in Dublin, uh, River uh, Liffey divides North City to the South City. Now, South being a prosperous city, North being a, a underdeveloped poor country traditionally, not anymore. But that's how British have actually used the rivers to divide people. And therefore, there had been a very few bridge over the River Liffey, O'Connell Bridge being Daniel O'Connell was being the freedom fighter, uh, but an English guy, and, 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 and the bridge is made by Daniel O'Connell. So after the recent times, there had been several bridges has been built over the, ri over the River Liffey in order to connect people from the north and the south more frequently and more easily. And similarly, I think the metaphor is for the uh, River Thames in London as well. And many other major cities, the city I come from is Lucknow, where we have Gomti River. <clears throat> Gomti River is also a very beautiful river. I learned my swimming in Gomti River in my childhood, in my school days. So I grew up in Lucknow. A, a river again has been used very effectively to join people, to connect people, uh, you know, the ships will come uh, through the cultural festival uh, and the both side of the city, people will come from the other side of the river or the other side of the, both side of the river to join each other. So the river can also be used as a metaphor for joining people who are yes. physically divided by the water itself. And therefore, <laughs> it's a very effective metaphor. It's an effective way of looking at the rivers. Um, I know very little about the environmental thing, but yes, there had been some serious concern when the glaciers will, uh, you know, melt and the, the melting of glaciers are huge and it is going to affect the river uh, Ganga as well. And it's it'll create a more uh, hazardous environment and because Ganga also feeds a huge amount of agricultural uh, you know, fields throughout the country. And therefore, using that element is very, very important that you must actually pay attention to. You know, imagine a, a time when the water dries up. There will be no, uh, you know, irrigation coming from Ganga to the neighboring neighboring villages, which is coming. So all of that is very important to pay attention to it. Uh, glacier melting is a concern. It is a global warming. It is something that's been talked about it in Sharm el Sheikh and recently in in uh, COP 2022. And this point has been discussed there. Those who had been following the COP 22 would know the economic disaster which are facing not 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 to mention the, the the Alan's point which you mentioned about the Dublin itself is is in danger because we live around the water it's an island uh, we are surrounded by the by the sea and sea is rising because of that and when the sea rises the water pours into the rivers of the city and our city is the Dublin is is the middle of that is river Liffey and imagine if the river river, river Liffey swells up 
and the water actually spreads to the both side of the it will destroy it will destroy the city center it will destroy the communities who live around it um so all of that i think the river sciences subject should be implemented to all over the world in universities to all the colleges and the youngsters should be told the importance of the river that how the river can be used very actively um and spiritually as dr puri has mentioned uh the spiritual element that sometimes rivers are also uh, considered and particularly ganga is been used as a spiritual metaphor in banaras in india as well and all we have seen the the actually horrors of of covid when the dead body has been floated in ganga uh and how the dead bodies have been actually been uh you know dumped in that so that element has also been you know you sort of it's, it's very important to understand the pollution aspect of of that uh and the cleaning um of of river is a constant battle for everybody and it should be uh, looked into it so that's my contribution to to very imaginative um you know uh way of thinking about rivers thank you very much for uh, asking me to join and hopefully it's i made sense thank you thank you mr jaydi uh, i must say that you have uh, mentioned though first of all you have started that i am not so much a uh, fond of river and research but you have mentioned very important points because through documentation through story writing even through cinema cinema is also the voice of uh, lots of things so through this we can also showcase a different aspect and also the points which you have already mentioned there is the global warming sea level rise urban flooding and there are several issues you have already mentioned through your discussions and that already means that you were too much affectionate with river and its awareness as well and in future hopefully uh, we can uh, definitely work in that sense uh, that's why i'm saying the river awareness it should be required either it may be in india or it may be england or it may be uk and thing so yeah just be sir would like to say some uh, something yes sir please yeah. the the model which was given by the britishers during their colonization alan mentioned decolonization what they have done is at that time just to plunder more money from every country mm. they made big nalas you yes. know big small yes. drains yes. big ones and they all go into the river and so that they they save more money they never tried to do anything for the safety of the human beings they said let it go you know they never so those things are still there like in delhi there are one or two like punjabi bag and other ones I, even said kolkata as well kolkata also my childhood i grew up at in mori gate and kashmiri gate area you know and there was a big nala all around the river side we used to uh, cross off from the other side there was a small bridge to go to our school in in uh, mori gate itself and then we come back you know but we know what that nala was looking people were dwelling around the side and during winter were during rainy season people will be flushed away even with the with this one same is the uh, this one and we are still holding that we have to look up those solutions that rather than putting those things back into the river we have that's how we will do something we have to impart new ways of disposing over waste how to dispose so that people can do it you know rather than we have made you know life very comfortably without realizing the impact of urbanization also we are urbanizing too much but yes. and industrializing too much we have to have our own natural industries should be there natural resources should be there and we should be using the natural resources only then we will be safe otherwise we are heading for a doomsday definitely mm -hmm. thank you definitely I, sir I, yes come in. rajiv sir <laughs> okay okay yeah alan please no no alan thank you Thank you. Just a very quick one. You know, absolutely right. You know, uh, Dr. Jasbir, you're absolutely right. And um, I'm going to come back just very quickly to the decolonization point of view. Um, uh, yeah, Siraj, uh, Sirajji's um, point there: names of bridges. Um, you know, names of bridges. Decolonization. 
Dublin is um, um, Dublin is a really interesting study. We could go, we could look at the Ganga, uh, names of bridges, you know, uh, uh, the promenade, etc., like that. How they they change uh, from an, uh, from uh, what in, invaders um, called them um, to uh, more patriotic and appropriate and natural uh, names. And I think um, that would be a very very interesting uh, intellectual subject for a lot of people, but quite uh, quite interesting for the general populations as well. So um, just to come back on that point, I think that would be a really good um, subject uh, for an article, maybe. Um, bridges of Dublin, bridges in, in uh, India, with name changes uh, from times of occupation to times of return to independence. That's my comment anyway. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Can I... Make yes, some sure. Comments? Sure. Okay. sure, sure. Uh, I am so, I mean, I must profusely thank uh, uh, Dr. Puri and Mr. Jaydi for your interventions. And of course, Alan, in the beginning, you set the tone. Uh, I, I, You have hit some of the major uh, issues, like uh, what we do with a centralized approach. Government of India, I think this is, in fact, uh, just to share with you, I and a correction, my, uh, I think the computer is showing my name as Basudha, that's the name of my wife. So I'm Rajiv Misra. So I think Mr. Jaydi, sorry for confusing you. So I think, so this is Rajiv Misra. Uh, I wrote a book on Ganga because I spent four or five years. So I think a lot of these dilemmas, centralized, decentralized, and uh, Mr. Puri, you know, very really told about these Nalas. I think many, I think Jayadi Sahib also will remember, there is a Nala called Sisamo Nala in Kanpur, huge Nala, monstrous yes. Nala, which right. used to, we used to make Kanpur a symbol of pollution of Ganga. And this is 128 year old Nala. We recently, we could divert the seaways into STPs and all that. And I think that Nala is more or less dry now. So, so I think the whole organization, the problem is, the villages, everything cannot be done by government of India. So I fully endorse that people have to, in my book, I wrote a book on Ganga. The last chapter is sustainability. Okay, we are now doing very aggressively. Government is giving political bill and money and all that, and we are able to improve things. But how it will survive? Every village, I think everywhere STP is not the solution. So we have to go for septage and other things. We go with a little more natural. I am really absolutely convinced about it. And I, everywhere I keep on telling that river is always clean. It's basically people around it is not clean. I mean, physically as well as spiritually. So because we are not responsible. We will go to river. I and mean, very typically in Hindi, I call, we have astha. We have, res we have belief. We have faith. But we don't do our kartabe, our duty. So I think that is the kind of uh, journey we have to actually move from this to this place. I think many of these dilemma, many of these things I tried to narrate uh, my experiences and also write a lot of things about the cultural issues of the different parts. So I think that's very good. And uh, Mr. Jayadi Saab, I think you have really uh, hit a lot of very nice issues. And you being a, a person in the communication side, I think uh, we tried to use a lot of these uh, small clippings, etc., also for uh, changing people. It went National Geographic also recently has come up with a movie on Ganga, the river from the sky. Mike Pandey is the uh, narrator or the anchor. And then I had a chance to interact. I think we, we are trying to change that view, but it's not a very easy thing. I think I will also like, as a result of this meeting, we have some resources to share. Like, I, I will certainly try to watch this movie, which you said, Jai Ganga. And we have got some anthem. We call it Namami Ganga Anthem. So, Bishwit, I think if we can have some sort of numbers and all that, I would like to share some of these things. Because if you, if you see that, it's a very powerfully made uh, song, video song, again, by people from South India, Trichur Brothers, they are exponent of Carnatic music, but they have sung it in Sanskrit and Hindi and the subtitles are there in English. So I think that actually captures the spirit of Ganga and what right from classical period to now period. So I think there, there are lots of things which we can uh, perhaps share. And this is also very interesting that how rivers are dividing. I mean, you said north, south. I think if you look at it, Delhi, we call Trans-Jomuna area. So in Prayagraj also, Trans-Jomuna, Trans-Ganga, 
and I saw that the core city has STP, but the, those areas are completely neglected. So we are trying to do it. But I think this integration, the river, which is physically dividing two parts of a geography, can actually culturally unite them. And it is very much possible when Kumbh comes, I mean, Mahakumbh in uh, Prayagraj in, in Allahabad, I think people come from all over. And I always, in my book also, I all try to say that river is, especially river Ganga is a great integrator. When such Mela festival takes place, people from all, all walks of life, they all come and take dip together. I mean, in one place, I think uh, so. So how to make uh, through different faces river as an integrator? I think that also can be thought of when we look at uh, this thing, because it actually integrates. We all developed around it, but due to certain colonization, you can say, or any other kind of artificial things, somehow the divide comes. And so, so that's why I think the urbanization is one of the major challenge for our river apart from industrialization. And then we have to look at the urban planning. So we tried to do a campaign and I'm working now on managing urban rivers as a, as a new area. And I think as Professor Singh, Dr. Singh said, Mr. Jaydi also said, the idea of river science becomes very important because I have met a lot of experts, a lot of IIT professors, a lot of scientists. Everyone tries to look at river from one point of view, from hydrology, from ecology, from cultural point of view, someone from history point of view, the, someone will look at the different rivers, river and community. But actually the river science or art, whatever you say, has to integrate all these concepts and then actually you can really fully understand river. So to rejuvenate river, to connect people with the river, what you need is you have to basically do it. And river is for everyone. In my book, I think I have put a lot of photographs and some photos with the otter or the um, dolphin. They are telling us that we too love river Ganga. It's not only for you to take away all the water and make it dirty and then do whatever you want because you are not going to survive if you do it. We have to keep rivers healthy, not for the sake of rivers, but for our sake. Because I think the bearing capacity, the, the tolerance of those rivers scientifically will not last all the time. I mean, unless we change our behavior. So I think there is there's a lot of very good thoughts. And I think uh, we, we should share some resources from our side and then create a kind of uh, forum platform try to develop some stories, develop some papers, some ideas so that I think we can we can share with each other as well as we can also share with others. I mean, make a forum. I mean, nowadays we are so connected. We can put it on LinkedIn or and, and reach out to the many other people. Maybe several other people also may be there uh, in um, Ireland who may be interested into these kind of dialogues. So we can also reach out to more people. And I'm... I'm happy to tell you, Mr. Achilles Misra is a good friend. I think we, we know each other well. And uh, you can, when you meet him next, you can remember. He is also from Varanasi. So he has I know, I know. Ganga. He comes from Varanasi and has a lot of... Uh, this friend of ours as well. And yes. as I mentioned, I would take your first name. I just say, uh, if you can, please. Is yeah, Rajiv. Ra Rajiv. Rajiv. Rajiv Misra, you can say. Rajiv Misra. Uh, then definitely the other very important point that I've forgotten to mention is that we in Dublin use uh, River Liffey as a sports as well. Okay. Uh, swimming, swimming is a very important sports for all over the world. And River Liffey has got a tradition which is funded by the Dublin City Corporation called the Great Liffey Swim. And okay. in the summertime, summertime people swim uh, a great length in the river. Uh, so uh, the swimming uh, could also be used in a clean, clean rivers as a sports for 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 the activity as well. And therefore, if there is a sports taking place, uh, you know there is a kayak activity in River Dodder here. So there is a lot of activities for kayaking. Uh, you mm. know that kind of activity, which would focus again. On, on the rivers itself, that rivers is just not the means for uh, running water and, and cleaning all, but that also could be used yes. as a sports as facility. Definitely. Exactly. exactly. I think this is a very good idea and we tried to do it in like in Ganga also in the Uttarakhand area, there is a very good uh, adventure sports that rafting, kayaking, rafting that happens, quite a popular one. So we took one expedition right from the beginning of Ganga, the Deprayag closer to Gangotri and went up to Ganga Sagar. 
and uh, it was almost 35 day long expedition and it th these are all ways to do public outreach to connect people through the mode of adventure sports or some other kind of a sports activity and i i fully agree mr jayadi because if we keep on looking at river and look at the plastic packets and dirt perhaps that connection will not be again yep. reviving so you have Absolutely. to also do several other things apart from only talking about nala and dirty things be Absolutely. Not to hide from the fact we have to do that and we have to tackle that, but you have to also give a kind of river is not just Nala. River is a much more beautiful and much more majestic thing than uh, we convert into a Nala. So I think uh, it's an excellent idea. Thank you. So it's already uh, seen very interesting that yeah. due, due to our this dialogue, all people has become charged. <laughs> Yes, so everybody has charged, and uh, I, I told you, I, river is the greatest integrator. Yes, and and, we, have to, uh, we have to start understanding river. Yes, and <laughs> definitely, I that's why I uh, say it every time that dialogue should start somewhere. Sometimes dialogue should start, and we also, I, I, also, I also can see several hands are already raised. Several comments are already coming. Uh, very good, very good, good. Uh, so now I request uh, to our next our participants level. For this interaction, I saw Shayok, Mr. Shayok Ghosh. Shayok is also a cultural heritage expert, and he is associated with Sayad as a uh, faculty um, right now. So, Shayok, please over you. Over to you. Yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, first of all, thanks uh, for uh, thanks, especially to Mr. Rajodhuri for organizing this conference, a video conference, though it's. But uh, we are very enriched in each and every participants and panelists' uh, dialogues and the suggestions being shared. So, uh, see, uh, my, uh, uh, there is a specific question to all the panels, especially to uh, Mr. Mishra. Okay, uh, because, see, Mr. Mishra, uh, any means each and every day we can have a video conference on river, river science, and, and on this specific entity because it's so huge. The entity is so huge. My there is one my simple questions. Uh, being a person of South Asia and uh, especially of India, from 1947 till late, we have covered 75 odd years of our so-called independence or whatever it is. But we have a n number of river basins in the subcontinent: Ganga River Basin, Satluj River Basin, Brahmaputra River Basin, Narmada River Basins, and also we have the rivers of South India, which are historically and from heritage point of view they are so enriched. Mr. Allen is also sitting in Nepal doing research and promoting uh, tourism uh, to it. So uh, each and every river basin can usher a good number of employments. Okay, from each and every point of view, tourism can be a propelling factor since I am a person of cultural tourism. So that's uh, my forte or knack. So in if we consider multiple factors, it can be a very assuring factor for employment, especially for, to South Asia, to India, where employment is really an issue. So why haven't we achieved? We have n number of uh, river business, but in 75 odd years course, we means uh, somehow we have not been able to achieve that target to develop employment subject to the river basins. So, uh, Mr. Mishra, why do you think, as a bureaucrat, as a social thinker, as an analyst, why do you think so? We had enough time, seventy-five years, but uh, hardly there is uh, means uh, any uh, uh, projects uh, means which can usher employment because you can see uh, this Ganga or uh, uh, Narmada or uh, even this Brahmaputra, all these river circuits are attached to so rich tourist destinations. Okay, But still date, subject to commercial tourism, our Indian tourism is very amateur. Okay, Because see, Singapore is just a dot in the world map. It has 18 million footfalls every year. But in India, we hardly now have 5 million footfalls every year. So why is that so, sir? This is my specific question, sir. Okay, though it's a, it's a very good point, but uh, see the, the two things. One thing is river-related employment. I mean, we have to also factor agriculture. 
that is a major source of livelihood for people and the, actually river is the main step for employment in the agriculture and allied sector and well husbandry and all that i mean tourism is one part so it's not correct to say that river has no contribution in employment but as i agree but tourism potential i think that there is a lot bigger issue about the infrastructure about how we develop tourism as far as pilgrimage and even adventure tourism and all that it has actually improved now what happens we started working on the cleaning part of the river i think if you look at the decades long thing what happened initially i think right from 1985 rajiv gandhi was prime minister and he talked about ganga cleaning no, I have studied that. I have also tried to reflect it in my this thing. But see, our knowledge, our our resources, they were all very limited. So slowly, by the time 2009-10, we learned from some of the other global things, we started talking about basin approach and basin things so that everything is important. What used to happen, you pick up one or two spots, hot spots we call, so Kanpur. Don't even tackle Kanpur completely, put one STP somewhere or do it. That way it will not happen. Resource wise, I, I can tell you the kind of money in terms of Indian rupees. I will tell you from 85 to 2014, 2013 14, we have spent around 4000 crore. I mean, it may look big amount, but it's not at all. I mean, you understand for such a big size over 30 years. So, roughly, you are spending 100 to 200 crore in the country for river like Ganga. Now, in last uh, 10 years, we have spent something like 11,000 crore. So I think that aggression is needed because otherwise, I mean, the gap will keep on increasing and we'll keep on crying like that. So that's one thing. The task is too huge. 2019-20 onwards, we tried to broad waste it into agriculture because one thing is the pollution part. We also improved some flow. Then slowly it is getting into the agriculture, organic farming, this and that. And then actually Prime Minister in one of the meetings said that I think what he coined it or a term called Earth Ganga, like economic Ganga. So I'm trying to bring that kind of model where actually people know because we are on the bank of Ganga, we are blessed people. So we are also getting some sort of other support for economic upliftment. So actually it talks about hybrid tourism model. One thing is about the adventure tourism for the younger people. For some of the people, pilgrimage is also most important thing. So I think these things are happening. But you know, I mean, all of you are aware about our country size and the kind of size and magnitude of challenge. It takes time. But unless you do some cleaning and now you go to Varanasi Ghat, it looks much better, much cleaner. So people have some faith. I myself, when in 2018, I came to this mission, everyone said that anyway, you will get bad name, nothing will happen. So I think the problem is we start with nothing will happen. And then without self-belief, nothing will happen also because we keep on crying and doing it. So yes, tourism was certainly not the first criteria of the Namami Ganga mission. But yes, now it is also trying to drive. I think Mr. Allen mentioned and some of you also mentioned about culture and heritage. So we have done a kind of through Intag, we have done a mapping of the cultural heritage sites all along Ganga. That report I think will get published now. I think most of it is ready. So it talks about the built heritage along Ganga, the forts, the temples, the various other kinds of places. It talks about natural heritage. Many people do not know if you go in the in the Bihar and Jharkhand districts of Ganga, there are certain waterfalls visible from River Ganga in Rajmahal Hills. But if you ask the people in Patna, very close to that area, they also are not aware about it. So I think several things, it will take little integrated approach. So I think natural heritage is there, built heritage is there. And India, and especially along Ganga, a huge, rich, intangible heritage, the, the kind of handicraft, the kind of uh, uh, textile, the kind of things is there. So I think this all has to be packaged. So you can have a circuit where actually you have a kind of rich tourism where different aspects get touched upon. So I think this this itself is a very long topic and we can keep on discussing. But the but idea is things are happening, things are being thought of. But it's also not happening if you look from that point of view because our aspirations are much higher. The speed is not that much. And it is happening like told you about finance in Ganga, South India rivers. I think where is the money for them? I mean, that kind of budgetary support, that kind of priority is not there. There is a talk to talk uh, to a start something like Namami Ganga in that place. Some of the state governments are also trying to do similar kind of mission for other rivers. So some trigger is there for the other rivers also. And sir, uh, Thank you, sir. Mr. Smith, I, uh, or I want to mention one point just. 
and this triggering is as started during his uh, the tenure of this man that's why i'm saying this man as the river man of india <laughs> okay okay so, and there are uh, ample of opportunities whenever we no that's why that's why i asked him what, because he has such knowledge your, quotient see yes. and whatever you are that i am trying to promote my book but actually no. i had to write all these no sir you have every right to promote it you have every right to promote it and i i will pro, i will promote on behalf of my side keep on asking people will i will share it on behalf of my side <laughs> and i have gone through the worst of the times when everyone used to shout saying nothing is yes. happening for me people will hold you accountable for 30 years of problem so i think is it available yes. on amazon is it yes, available yes it is available in amazon available on amazon I will we'll share the buy. link to you. I will share the link to you in the uh, chat yeah. box or WhatsApp right. as well. So the and also, of writing yes. to reach out to people who want to know about some of the things and then further contribute about uh, this. Yeah. Thing. Yes, yes. yes. And also, I mentioned, Sayak, one thing that uh, whatever the initiatives we have taken, already you know that in case of the cultural heritage tourism. So don't uh, think as we believe that don't uh, everything we have to depend on the government. We may start. With, by our own and definitely at that time we will line up with the government as well so now i it, also saw our another two members has also raised hands and yes uh, mr munshi he is from the ceo of ibg news so mr munshi over to you please sir your microphone is off please on your microphone yes very good evening uh, everyone, especially Good all evening. the dignitaries from overseas and the government officials. Sir, I want to say a few things. Since one uh, doctor is with us, uh, Mr. Dr. Puri, uh, this is for you, sir. Yes. If we have an yeah. internal injury and we are bleeding yeah. inside, is there any remedy by putting the bandage on the outside no. the skin no no that is the medical answer yes. and exactly that is the answer of the sociology to the yes. problem of our ganga or any other river pollution reason being we have failed to teach our younger ones in the schools the important and importance of having a healthy environment healthy river in our surroundings you just think about your childhood Nadi mein utarne se pehle, before taking a bath deep in the river, you used to touch the water and touch your forehead, like praying uh, pranam to the river Ganga or Jamna or wherever you are. That means you are treating that river as goose as a goddess. And that is, <coughs> that was the ethos. Now what has happened, we have removed these social aspect of our life from the education and that's why we are losing the value and proposition for the society just think of the pandemic i'm just connecting here one and a half years the entire world was inside and the, every river and ecology that become very clean so we are the pollutant what sir said 30 years of good effort i know sir Personally, what great effort you have done against all odds in your office, inside, outside, political people. I don't want to discuss all these things, but you have done a great job. Salute to your effort, sir. And that's why whatever cleanliness we are seeing because of your and your team's effort, that's for sure. What I Thank want you. to say, education in India, NEP 2020 is in place. So as across the globe, we have to teach them young, catch them young, teach them young, and build them young forever in mind. Because young mind thinks they're not polluted. And if we put the good knowledge there itself, your half work will be done immediately. You will yes. have 130 crore of workforce who are protecting Ganga every day, protecting Yamuna every day, and so every river. So it is not only a job of a government team, officials of 100, 200 or 1,000 people. It is a 130 crore plus people's country. Aplog hazar admi, 1,000 people you are cleaning and 100 crore people are polluting. There is no match, sir. 
so in my opinion it there should be there should be official unofficial one curriculum introduced in each and every school with a request letter from namami gange or any such kind of initiative that teach the kids at least once in a year importance of every river and the environment they will become environment friendly mr munshi i would like to inform that already uh, we have started this initiative that bring river in as a subject and we in future we are looking forward to uh, approach to the ugc as well or the higher education uh, ministry as well to consider it as a subject and in definitely there will be some practicability along with the application and also on behalf of our side i will request that it's as i mentioned that it's not our uh, only government's job but also it's a responsibility for us also and you media people is the fourth pillar all as uh, as we mentioned that the democracy is fourth pillar so you have the big responsibility to uh, to uh, approach this uh, movement uh, for uh, further uh, uh, dr raj choudhury uh, let me add to your point media or anybody else can't do anything if it is not ethical in execution <laughs> so definitely if can't and be safe in dublin in ireland i have visited such a nice wonderful country and people are very very friendly there at least i have came across oh, but oh. the problem you know yes. the problem you. you know what happens if you have traveled across the globe especially whoever in this meeting from india you will see people are giving line in the immigration counter in us canada uh, in uk or europe very systematically following the rules and regulations everything the moment flight lands in india or bangladesh or pakistan or any of their countries they will start dancing like anything and that there will be a wwf fighting or wrestling or a karate or something like that that who will who can reach first to the immigration counter we forget our dignity we forget our discipline the moment we land in our country because we always taken it for granted ye mera desh hai this is my country i can do anything so imparting the responsibility inside the students has become paramount now the 5g's are coming we are all happy faster internet faster network all voice mails all webinars will be just like zap just think about the radiation what will be the effect on the avian's life you will lose more sparrows you will lose more uh, birds and other species insects now if you think about the insects think on the effect of ecology let's for the honey bee if honey bee is not there you will not have the uh, pollen exchange you will not have the um, uh, agriculture you will not have the growth of your paddies your other uh, crops what will happen can you survive without food sir or mr ji uh, already told that agriculture <coughs> is very important and dependent on river so uh, it is dependent on other factors also we have to think of the totality <coughs> that is the important definitely definitely, you, definitely. i will Thank not you. take more time Namaskar from my side. No, no. Thank you, sir. Everybody. Thank you. Now yes. I also saw Mr. Rajesh Rakesh Sharma. Rakesh Sharma was a retired uh, officials from the government of India and the Uttar Pradesh uh, government also. So, sir, thanks for joining first of all, and you are also have an experience, in-depth experience in horticulture sector. So, hopefully, you would like to focus on some points, please. Sir, um, बहुत बहुत uh... भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं क्योंकि आई एम फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड और मैं थोड़ा हिंदी में बात करूंगा और देखिए आज मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है कि नमामि गंगे जो कि भारत सरकार द्वारा एक द्वारा संचालित एक कार्यक्रम है इसका मेन उद्देश्य यह है कि हमारा पूरे भारतवर्ष में हमने अपनी जो हमारी नाम से ही जिसका है कि नमामि गंगे हम अपने गंगा नदी से शुरू करके जहाँ से स्टार्ट होता है 
उसको हम उसके किस टाइप से उसके प्रदूषण से हमने उसको बचाना है नमामि गंगे नामक ये जो जो गंगा संरक्षण है ये गोमुख से लेकर हरिद्वार तक के सफर में लगभग चार सौ पांच किलोमीटर की यात्रा को तय करती है मैं बहुत सामान्य बहुत शॉर्ट रूप में आपको बताऊंगा कि ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये गंगोत्री से शुरू होकर उत्तर प्रदेश झारखंड उत्तराखंड बिहार और बंगाल में विभिन्न जगहों पर पानी की स्वच्छता का काम कर रही है जिसमें पुराने घाटों का निर्माण नए घाट सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट गंगा से लगे शहरों में एस का निर्माण गंगा व उसकी सहायक नदियों के किनारे पौधों पर रिवर फ्रंट डेवलपमेंट गंगा के किनारे पेड़ लगाना स्नान घाट शमशान घाटों का निर्माण गंगा में गिरने वाले गंदे नालों की टेपिंग सर सबसे बड़ी बात आज स्वच्छता की होती है हम हमारा जल जब शुद्ध होगा हम शुद्ध वातावरण में अपना जीवन यापन करेंगे हमारा पानी <coughs> सॉरी हमारा पानी सही होगा सबसे मेन जो इसका उद्देश्य है कि हम जो हमारा उत्तराखंड से पानी चल रहा है पूरे भारतवर्ष में गंगा पूरा आपके वेस्ट बंगाल तक जाता है हमारा जब पानी बिल्कुल शुद्ध होगा हमें कोई टाइप से रोग नहीं होंगे हमने ऐसा प्रयास करना है दूसरी बात क्योंकि मैं हॉर्टिकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट से रिटायर कर्मचारी हूँ मेरा एक मानना है जहां जहां भी आपका ये नमामि गंगे प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट चलेगा या चल रहा है या आने वाले टाइम में उनमें कोई बदलाव आएगा तो जहां जहां पर भी हो वहां पर उन नदी के किनारे किनारे हमें ऐसे वृक्षों का पौधों का हॉर्टिकल हॉर्टिकल्चर वाले हो या आपके जैसे हब्स जड़ी बूटी का है तेज पत्ता है और, और टाइप से पेड़ों का लगाना जरूरी है जिससे कि हमारा मूल रूप से जो हमारा प्राकृतिक संरक्षण है वो हमेशा हमेशा बना रहेगा अभी मैं आपको अब मैं क्योंकि इस साइड की तो बात नहीं करूंगा उत्तराखंड में देखिए हमारे यहाँ बहुत बड़ी बड़ी नदियां हैं अभी हमारे जो मुख्यमंत्री हैं वो मेरे चंपावत क्षेत्र विधानसभा से है वहां पर अभी एक पंचोसर डैम बन रहा है जो उत्तराखंड और नेपाल सरकार के के बीच में वो एशिया का सबसे बड़ा बांध बन रहा है हमारी कोशिश ये होनी चाहिए कि हम उन क्षेत्रों में जितना भी जिनका भी पुनर्वास होगा उनके लिए ढंग से पुनर्वास की व्यवस्था करें लेकिन मेरा हमारा जो मेरा अपना व्यक्तिगत मानना है मेरी भी सर बत्तीस तैतीस साल की नौकरी हो चुकी है मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि हम लोग जितने भी लोग हैं ये गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया माननीय मोदी जी द्वारा जो जो प्रोग्राम चलाया गया है नमामि गंगे में हम लोग पूरा सहयोग करें और इस सहयोग के नाते हमारा मेरा मेन उद्देश्य है कि हम क्योंकि मैं हॉर्टिकल्चर से की बात मैं इसलिए ज्यादा कर रहा हूँ कि गंगा किनारे किनारे जहां तक बात आएगी हम नमामि गंगे प्रोजेक्ट के तहत वहां पर फलदार बच्चों का का वो पौधे लगाएंगे हम जड़ी बूटियों के संबंध में बात करेंगे और मेरा आप सभी लोगों से सर सॉरी टू सॉरी टू सर सॉरी टू इंटरव्यू बिकॉज़ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट्स ये ओके सर मैं बस आप लोगों का बहुत बहुत वरी हूं सर एग्रीकल्चर पर्सपेक्टिव वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज नॉट पर्टिकुलरली फॉर द नो नो यस थैंक यू प्रोग्राम इज नॉट सो बहुत वरी हूं एक्चुअली हमारी गंगे प्रोजेक्ट डिस्कशंस वी आर एक्चुअली तो हम थोड़ा उनसे बात कर हम साथ क्या कर सकते हैं ना उसके लिए किया था और बातें आपकी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बार आपने बताई है तो हम उसका ध्यान रखेंगे और आगे भी जो हमारे डिलीवरी और सर मैं आप सभी लोगों को निमंत्रण दूंगा कि आप लोग उत्तराखंड में आइए और मेरे साथ रहिए मेरे घर में जरूर 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार नमस्कार
Thank you very much. Thank you, Rakesh ji, and uh, sorry to interrupt you because we are really, uh, designing the theme very of the happy, program very happy, in sir. different sense. Thank you very much. And definitely, okay, okay. we will keep in touch. We will keep in touch with you and your points as well. So uh, now the time has conclusion, and also I hope uh, the thank discussions you. which thank we you. have thank started you from thank the seven pm. Okay, okay. It, it was it was really a very nice and also a um, channelized discussion which we actually wanted to highlight and. Um, hope in future the points which we have discussed regarding the river and utilization river and culture river either the tourism sector to agriculture in each and every aspect we can work together and as rajiv sir has also mentioned that we can design a framework of action a line of actions on the basis of which we should proceed one by one and the awareness were already mentioned by all the panelists particularly that there should be the po one points everybody has coming in the one point that there should be river awareness started we have and in that case in collaboration with the uh, ireland through ikra to the river center of syed and we are all will be very happy in keeping touch with the uh, ireland as well as to work ireland jointly not only for the sake of our indian river or ireland river but also for the sake of the world so with this once again i thanks to all the panelists especially alan because he actually taken has taken the initiative to connect jasbir ji as well as siraj ji and we are really really uh, thanks to him along with the our uh, vice president sir uh, rajiv misra ji for connecting with us and for sharing his important points and thank you sir hope in future we will coming into the another platform with the another discussions and definitely we will give a proper shape whatever the discussions we have done today thank you sir over to you thank you rajiv sir thank, thank you. you sir thank you everyone so much. all the best and uh, jaspir ji once thank again we will you. see and dhanyawad and jai namaskar namaskar sir thank you namaskar sabko namaskar my taraf se and thank you jai very hin. much for inviting us <laughs> and hope we can work together and whatever yes. we can yes. do it you know we should do it because it's the everybody has got a duty to do it yes. if we do yes. our duty then we are giving rights to the others you know so yes, then sure. the yes. problem nowadays is everybody is asking for the rights but yes. they don't <laughs> know are are you doing your duty you know so everybody has to do his duty mm. you know what is in our body we say jo brahmande soi pinde what is in the cosmos in the universe that is within our self itself yes. the yes. whole yes. universe is in a human body yes in the same proportion of the five elements which are there in any planet or any star the same proportion is in our body we say water पानी पिता जगत का बट इसको ही सब खाए विदाउट दिस वी कैन नॉट लिव तो वी हैव टू हैव द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ अवर वाटर अवर रिवर्स इट्स नॉट ओनली वन गंगा रिवर गंगा जी सिक इन द प्रोजेक्ट इट शुड बी ऑल रिवर्स एट द सेम टाइम सो दैट इंडिया बिकम्स अ क्लीन रिवर कंट्री यू नो राइट नाउ पीपल टॉक अबाउट रिवर this that 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 we can do it within span of you know if the whole country wants to decide it yes it can be cleaned within 5 6 years the whole all the rivers can be clean i'm telling you if everybody puts an effort true sir and, we, and that, is the, that is the main agenda that is the main agenda of our <laughs> during corona time atmosphere of delhi was so clean that from delhi roofs of delhi tops you could see the shimla hills like you know from punjab mm -hmm. and from delhi the all the aravalli hills etc you could see but not now it's all because we are adding every day some sort of pollution into the air into the water into the earth we are doing so much you know so i i think it is our personal duty before we ask the right we ask the government we have to do our duties you know sure definitely every citizen Sure. Thank you Definitely. very much. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank now you the much. session uh, we are about to conclude, and once again I thanks Alan, Jaspir ji, 
Sai Siraj ji and also Thank our God. Vice President uh, Riyajit Misra sir for their wonderful view points and hope we are coming in a next phase with a concrete solution. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Thank, Thank you to Thank all you. of you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you to all of you. Thank you. All Thank the uh, decision uh, members abroad uh, all are very good in this platform. Thank you, Bisu Jit Rai, sir, and Rajiv Thank Misra, you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Dr. Ramesh, Singh, Prasad, we have sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Good night. Everyone. Thank you all.